Hello, hello, bonjour. This is Tara with ElegantFemme.com and welcome to the Jardin Tuileries. It is midsummer, it is gorgeous, the sun is beaming down and there are tourists from all over the world everywhere. And um, I'm feeling really good. And so I wanted to first and foremost say thank you for all of you who responded and reached out regarding last week's newsletter when I shared some real personal growth regarding my, my health, my physical health and what it was I was I was going through and because of that response we really decided to take this a little bit deeper because as we're growing as women into a higher vibration of light and impact in the world I'm noticing we really are requiring a different level of self-care and there's something I'm going to talk to you about today that I have instituted in my life that I used to be afraid to in fact I used to think that I was really weak if I did this particular thing and from what I've heard of from my clients it really is um, a common misunderstanding that this particular one thing is seen as a weakness and I'm bringing it into my life in a big way. So I thought today I wanted to share that with you, let you know what it is and hear from you as to how this particular thing has enhanced your life or maybe you haven't let it yet enhance your life. And this is a really big deal to me. You know, I'm getting older, we're all getting older and yet um, some of the things that my parents and my grandmother used to say to me that I used to, you know, kind of shove off, like, oh yeah, 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 I'm really getting now. And I'm getting on multiple levels. So here's this one thing that I've started to do that um, I'm committed to. And I want you to really hear me, because you might think you know about this, but unless you're really doing this consistently, you have no idea about the value and the real results this particular one thing can bring into your life. What am I talking about? So remember when we were little and um, it, we had nap times and they were crucial and our parents, or if you, you are a parent, you can remember your little baby like, oh, it's nap time, right? It may, I think in the beginning it's like they take two naps, like a 9.30 and a 1.30 and it's like, you know, right? That child needs a nap. I need a nap. I need my naps. This is not a luxury. This is not, oh, if I'm really tired and I'm totally burnt out or I'm sick, I'm going to let myself take a nap. No. This is an integral part of my day now. I am so committed, so committed to growing and evolving and allowing this physical body to support me in the ultimate way. I started researching a little bit on naps. I started looking at, you know, is this a weak thing? Because God, how, right? In the past, my, my phone New Yorker would say, this is ridiculous. What are you doing laying down in the middle of the day? How can you do this? Right? Don't, don't let anybody see you. You know, don't let Dave see you, don't let the kids see you. I, God forbid the house cleaner sees me. Like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna explain this one? I have completely shifted my mindset around naps. Did you know that Winston Churchill was a fiend for naps? And did you know that we sleep in cycles? So we have an hour and a half sleep cycle. So if you take a 20, 25 minute nap, that's ideal. If you want to extend it, you take a 45 minute nap. And if you're gonna go anything above 45 minutes, you need to commit to an hour and a half. So there's also a science behind naps. It's not just about laying down randomly and trying to, you know, recoup some Z's. This is really a strategic way to improve your desired results as a woman. So it has multiple results for your femme types as well. You're indie, laying down, tranquil, calm, no matter what's going on around you. You are committed to yourself and your nap. That increases your self-worth and your confidence as a woman. So that increases your indie. From your Frenchie perspective, oh my gosh, there's two things, and this is gonna be kind of funny. I think I said this at our Beautiful for Life event, but I'm really serious about this, and my kids think I'm crazy when I say it. There's two things I think are super underrated, sleep and pooping. I know, I know, really elegant, right? But I'm serious, right? So sleeping, your Frenchie can totally enjoy sleeping, and you look more beautiful when you're rested. I wanna make something really, really clear. This isn't about catching up. This isn't about, all right, I'm going to work till 2 o'clock in the morning and I've got to take a nap or else I'm not going to make it. No. This is still a beautiful sleep schedule that you have at night and then extra time for you during the day to nap. Your New Yorker. Why is this good for your New Yorker? Isn't this a waste of time? Isn't this being lazy in the middle of the day? Exactly the opposite. If you're going to into fumes, if you're starting to go into a faux New Yorker, if you're going into overworking, you're finding yourself like, I can't think straight. I don't know what I'm supposed to do yet. I'm overwhelmed. Take a nap. It's the best time for your New Yorker to get clear. You can wake up with a completely fresh perspective. So this is something I've in infused into my life and I wanna hear from you. Do you take naps right now? Do you think they're lazy and unproductive? Do you wanna take them but you're afraid to take them because you're afraid they'll be lazy? I really wanna hear from you. This is something I'm really, really committed to. In fact, I just got up from my, my afternoon nap before we're doing this video shoot. 
something that's really, really important to me in my life. So I'd love to hear how you feel about it. And on top of that, one of the things I want to bring forward for you is something that we've done for a couple of years now. And the reason that um, we started doing it is a similar vein as what's happening for me right now in my physical health. I noticed that I hated planning and yet I was wanting to grow my business in a particular way, in an elegant way. And so I was trying to figure out how do I do this? How do I manage my New Yorker energy in a way that really is providing results for me and not getting sporadic because I had such resistance to planning. So we started this new thing, maybe you've heard about it, called Sensual Planning Day about two years ago and it went crazy. Women responded, I responded. This is one of the funnest things I had done in such a long time where I actually assisted women in a workshop on how to break down their year and plan it in a sensual way, infusing their fem types into their daily life so that they could really, really receive results. So the first time I did this, I thought, you know, I need this for me. Let's see if everybody likes it. Let's see how it goes. Now we get asked on a continual basis, are we doing sensual planning day again? Are we doing it again? So we do sensual planning day in January and then we do a check-in in July. Okay, so that we can take a look at what's progressed and what we're really committed to in the next six months. So maybe you've joined us on Central Planning Day before. Maybe you're brand new to this. Here's what you need to do. You need to know we're doing Central Planning Day again. There's going to be something different this time. I've learned so much about my body and about how to really relate to my physical self as I'm growing. I'm going to be infusing something brand new into Central Planning Day to assist us as women in really gaining even more momentum during this process. I'm really, really excited to share it with you. It's brand new this year. The sign up link is below, so just go ahead and click on that link, sign up. It's one of the most fun times I have, really. Uh, that and the Paris Day, Paris experience, I think are, are up there with my rendezvous with the cramps. Those are probably my. Oh, well, there's BFL too. There's a lot of things, but this is like, um, it's different. You'll see a lot of us women coming together and looking at our schedules together. It's a workshop. You implement while we're together, but you implement in a very, very different way. So I really invite you to, to schedule Central Planning Day. Make sure you block it out on your calendar. And then you can also check out all the women who have joined us, what they've actually said and what really goes on. We'll go through the entire rest of your year and help you get really clear on what it is you desire, what are the most important things for you between now and the end of the year? And how specifically can your fem types help you? What would it be like for you if you had your entire year planned out and you liked it and you actually were excited about it and it wasn't about overwhelm, it was about excitement and desire? And what if every month had a theme so that you could focus particular energies in a direction that would give you momentum and growth? So that's what Central Planning Day is about. I can't wait to be with you. I want to hear what you have to say about naps. What do you think about them? Are they lazy? Are they luxurious? Are they a necessity or are they um, an extra? What do you think about that? And then join us for Central Planning Day. I'll see you soon. Oh, and next week I think I'm going to tell you a little bit more about Central Planning Day and um, what it is I'm going to share with you, how I'm going to spice it up this year. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.